My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Any person can make you realize how wonderful the world is, but only a few will make you realize how wonderful you are in the world. Care for those few. Why go on the people? Open body now, okay? Open body now, right? Let me just adjust this little matter for the mass. You understand? The Germans, them never got quarter. But no World Cup business. No, 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 no. I never let them go about, you understand? That's why them gone home on a ball. And guess what? Suarez joined them to the people. Suarez joined them. One only the passing thing I go on. World Cup just start around at 60, you understand? We shiv out over, shiv out and dash them with. No, the real side them left. But anyway, I can go to the news here, man, because the police them till I go on in stupidness. What you are going to go on now? This is boy and this girl are supposed to get slapped with. And really, I tell myself, only just what they mean. This don't make no sense. A man wanted for murder was captured during a target operation in St. Catherine early, early this morning. The police said Dennis Jinxing Mundle and a female drunker is now in custody. That is exactly what I say. A female drunker and a Glock pistol was says. I don't want to mark them sure that they understand punk ice. Them body should not chill right now. We don't want a special total with my view going. Me are telling you the truth. Anyway, I can move on here because... People dead round the road right there, so let me tell you how I'm going for that. Three persons were shot, one fatally during an attack by a gunman in Stuart Town, St. Mary, Thursday evening. The deceased has been identified as 35 year old Martin Scott, otherwise called Bobo, a craft vendor of Utster Field in the parish and exchange in St. Anne's. A 44 year old woman and a 59 year old man are also hospitalized. At about 7 30 pm, patrons were at a corner bar when a man armed with an handgun approached and fired several shots. Yes, people. And all the cheap people get shot, they understand, because he just goes so, and just a spray it. Scott, dead right past spot. Me, I tell you, no, and the people, they make you look best in my view. No matter, them, them tell you about them came in the hospital. All right, past spot, him dead. Anyway, no, people, they come over and I'm going to some other news, because I'm telling you, no. Holy thing I go on for the news, you understand? Right around that sound, I go get it. The police has launched a man on for a gunman who attempted to hijack a truck transporting goods along the Bustamante Highway in Clarendon. Early, early Thursday morning. Me know I never hear about that. So right, so not here. No. The 50 year old driver was shot and has been hospitalized. Investigators said shortly after 3 a.m. the driver exit a warehouse in Old Arbor St. Catching where a truckload of wine and other beverages destined for an all-inclusive hotel in Westmoreland sometime later. He observed that the truck was being trailed by a Toyota Probox motor car. Upon reaching the Bustamante Highway, the car drove up beside the truck and the occupants opened fire, hitting the driver in his right shoulder. Yes, people, right by the right shoulder and get it. You understand? The wounded driver tried to elude the gunman during a high-speed chase. Our news team was informed that the driver used the truck to ram the Probox. Yes, people, I show this enough. I show this, you know what I say, oh, why have you watched a movie there for Lifetime last night, you know? Yeah, man. But I feel like someone knows you watch Lifetime. That's exactly the way I go say, I understand. When the man attempt to overtake his vehicle, both vehicle crash. It is understood that one of the gunmen again opened fire on the truck driver, this time hitting him in the left shoulder. Let me tell you the truth, people. I end them really, I go fast in, but them can't get your head. That's why they shot them all in him shoulder. The wounded driver played dead while the attackers Work on the damaged vehicle. It's reported that a passing motorist stopped to assist and called the fire brigade as the Indo driver was pinned in the truck. The motorist then assisted the men in the pro box to remove the vehicle from under the rear of the truck, not knowing they were good men. The hoodlum then sped away from the scene. Firefighters then arrived on the scene and removed the wounded driver from the wreckage. And guess what, people? Them came at the hospital. You understand? Right at the hospital, them came, because that is all them know for the, you know. Them all days reach late and just care who forgot hospital and if they did, them care I got the mug. Anyway, now, people, 
More things are going on the news. Here we are one pound war going now. A fisherman who the police said threw away a firearm and ran in 2021 was on Thursday acquitted of illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. The 41 year old accused Christopher Thompson of Greenwich Park was found not guilty following a trial in the gun court division in the Home Circuit Court. It's alleged that at about 12.15 a.m. on February 27, 2021, a police team was carrying out an operation in Greenwich Town community when they observed a man running along a pathway. I mean, I always tell them when they see more things like that, slap them away. According to the police, the man dropped an object and a metallic sound was heard. No, the sound was so clang. One of them sounded them ear. You understand? The man later identified as Mr. Thomas was reportedly chased and held. He was subsequently arrested and charged. During the trial, Mr. Thomas' attorney, Matthew Hay, argued that there were several inconsistency and discrepancy in the Crown case. Following submission by his lawyer, guess what, people? The fisherman was released. The fisherman was released. Hold on, power, hold on, now, people. We can go to some news. Right over UK, here we are going for war one. Three members of the criminal group who used a religious charity as a front to import 400 kilograms of cannabis valued at 2 million pounds from Jamaica to UK six years ago has been convicted. Yes, people, them finally convicted the idiot. Them. Let me tell you what them name. 50 year old Dalton Anderson. 45-year-old Alvin Russell and 64-year-old Sinclair Tucker were convicted this week following a five-week trial at Birmingham Crown Court. Yes, people, the men were found guilty of conspiracy to import Class B drugs, cannabis, and this was found guilty of possession with intent to supply Class B drugs after five kilograms of the drug was found at his home following his arrest. They will be sentenced on January 27th next year. I'm going to tell the people something. Oh, the native of Axe, I'm going to tell you. No. The man them pack it in a Kalalo and hack it in. You understand? Kill them dead. The man them never know. So watch out. We don't like a chick there. No. You understand? So comes them all and pan them. Anyway, now people, you want to go on, you want to go on. PMP come out and say, yo, this is the more Andrew for take and fight crime. But, Bert Samuels, yes. You know Bert Samuels. You just come and talk, 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 talk. Bert Samuels has something to say about that. So here we are going for a while, go on. The pre-charge attention means that you cannot go before a judge, ask to go before a judge, for the judge to inquire why you're being held and you're not charged for any offence. And the Constitution does not contemplate a person being taken into custody to facilitate investigations. The investigations must take place, and then you lay a charge. You can't put that cart before the horse. There's going to be a huge collision with your rights. And therefore, it is the same criticism that we have of states of emergency. On the side of detection, we are way behind. On the side of detention, that's what we want to do. We want to take people and call them balanced producers. I don't like that phrase. The Constitution sees them as innocent until proven guilty. So you can't be calling a citizen a violence producer when the Constitution, on the other hand, is saying this person is innocent until they are proven guilty. I know the crime rate is high, and I know that we're trying for political reasons to make the public think that we are doing something. But when we alienate the police, when we make families dislike the police who detain their sons for an inordinately long time, what we get is a divide between law enforcement and the citizenry. And the result of that is, in that formula, heightened crime rate.